Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Rutan and I'm a graduate student at Michigan State University for Dr. Kurt Steinke in the Soil Fertility and Nutrient Management Program. And today I wanted to discuss the importance of early season nitrogen management strategies for Michigan corn production. And this is important because yield potential is affected by more than just genetics, but also by the interaction of climate, site, and fertility management. Now some of these early nitrogen management strategies have included the use of pre-plant incorporated applications, pre-emergent, two by twos, and in applications are also called pop-ups applied at planting. In a study we recently concluded, one of the key observations was that yield potential was affected as early as V6. Now, despite the fact that the corn only requires about 15% of its total end uptake at that point, a nitrogen deficiency at that stage can result in unrealized yield potential. And this emphasizes the importance of those early season management strategies to sufficiently meet those early season nitrogen needs and set that plant up for success in season so that it can capitalize on early and mid-season weather conditions, a point that some of our decision support tools may fail to address. Now we're standing in a corn fertility trial which has some of those early season management strategies emphasized. In these pictures here, on your left is a plot that is untreated, and when you compare it to the picture on your right, which is a plot that received no nitrogen at planting, and its full application in a one-pass system at the V4 to 6 side dress timing, we can see some degree of nitrogen stress expressed in that untreated plot. Given in these two photos, on your left is that plot that received no nitrogen at planting, and its full 145 pounds of nitrogen per acre applied in a one-pass system at the V4 to 6 timing. And when you compare this to the picture on your right, which is corn that received 145 units as a pre-emerge application one day after planting, you'll notice some degree of nitrogen stress going on with that corn receiving nothing at planting. In these two pictures here, on your left, is corn that received 145 units as a pre-emerge application, and the picture on your right is corn that received 40 units of nitrogen as a 2x2 two two plan placement and 105 units as a V4 to 6 side dress timing. And we can see similar mid-season growth with these two, but that 2x2 two two with the side dress represents our two-pass system. In our previous study, we determined that a two-pass system resulted in a 9 to 31 bushel per acre yield increase over a one-pass system in four out of six site years. To see the results of this year's trial, please visit us at soils.msu.edu for further updates. Thank you.